Hey folks, things are getting exciting for the animatronic parrot kit. If you remember in the last update, I 3D printed some of these pieces to use on the prototype. And now today I've gone back to the Ohmtech Polar Laser, which they very kindly provided to me for this project. And I have laser cut some of the actual acrylic mechanical pieces that are very similar to what's actually going to be in the kits. Again, still a prototype, but it feels like we're really making some progress. Now, if you wanna go back and check out all of the progress on the animatronic parrot kit, I'm gonna put a little uh, pop-up on the video here. And if you don't see that, then it'll be in the description or back on my channel. There'll be an animatronic parrot playlist. And you can see all the past and future steps there. So I want to turn this thing on and show you what it can do. But first, I wanna take you back to my design process in the computer. I took the 3D model of the bird that I made in the last video and brought it into Fusion 360, which is an engineering design program. You can get very specific with the dimensions and the relationships between parts. And from there, I built out all the mechanical components inside the volume of the sculpture. You can see that I have almost a full mock-up of what the prototype will look like. Some of the parts are the 3D printed ones from last time, and these flat pieces are going to be laser cut in acrylic. So I exported those parts as vector drawings and brought them into Lightburn, which is the laser engraver software. This group is all the quarter inch thick parts. I've grouped all the cut lines for each part and put them into one layer, and then added numbers um, as engravings on another layer so that I can keep track of which version of the prototype is which. These are mostly version one and then one version two piece there. I also put this green box around um, in Lightburn to show me the exact size of the acrylic sheet I have so that I don't go past it. And I got the output turned off on that layer so that it's just a reference for my layout purposes. For the eighth inch parts, I'm using a sheet that has some old test cuts in one corner, so I drew another no output box in those dimensions to show me where it is on the sheet. My cut power and speed settings are lower and faster for this thinner material. And I focus the laser and drop it down using my modified formula for the particular focus height on my laser. And off we go. This is the actual speed of the cuts. There's a link in the description if you'd like to learn more about the Ohmtech Polar Laser Engraver. And you can see the engraving for those uh, numbers that I put on there goes a lot faster because the laser is trying to go fast enough that it doesn't actually cut through. The quarter inch material cuts a lot slower because the laser needs more time to fully penetrate and cut through. But it's kind of mesmerizing to watch, right? I'm just speeding this part along a bit. And when it's done, I've got a whole bunch of nice, clean, perfect pieces to put together this first prototype with. One thing that I discovered with the old Raven kits is that some people had trouble making the piano wire linkages. So I'm attempting to do all the linkages as pre-cut acrylic parts on the Parrot kit to make things easier to assemble and more consistent. I'm still figuring out the order of assembly for this, but I'm already getting an idea of which parts are doing well and which ones will need some adjustments. The nice thing about doing the design in Fusion 360 is it's very easy to go back and adjust a dimension without having to redo a lot of work. But hey, for the most part, this is really coming together. Normally, I would peel all the brown paper off of the clear acrylic parts, but I thought it would show up better on camera, so I left it on. And this is the 3D printed head assembly that I did in the last video. Um, I already know there's some changes that have to be made, but it works, so let's see it all put together. I'm really quite pleased with the magnets on the face. I think that's gonna be a really nice feature. 
I'm going to power this up and test it out with the Steve Kochi RC controller from Adicor. This is a great tool for hobbyist animatronics, and I'm going to talk about it more in a future video. But for now, this range of motion is looking pretty good. I'm going to put the face on it so you can see what that will look like. Now you can really see how the 3D printed and the laser cut pieces work together. You could achieve a similar result with one method or the other, but I'm able to take advantage of some of the best features of both of them this way. I get the ability of 3D printing to make parts of any shape and size, and the speed of laser cutting all of those flat parts. When it comes to the kits, that's going to be really important. And let's attach those body shells too. And now it's a little easier to visualize what the final result will be once it has the feathers on. I know some of you are already thinking about the cool ways you'll want to customize your parrot when the kits are ready, and I'm excited to see what you all do. Now there are a few changes I know I want to make on this right away. And so the next time you see this, it will probably be a little different, but I think this gives you a nice taste of what to expect. And I will of course have another update on the animatronic parrot kit very soon. You'll probably want to subscribe if this is something that you're interested in following. And the kits themselves will be available sometime soon. Maybe they're already available by the time you're watching this. So there will of course be those updates in the playlist on my channel. And if you want to be the first to know when the parrot kits are actually available, you'll want to sign up for the email list that is on my website. I'll put the website in the description. I want to give a big thank you to Ohmtech for sending their polar laser to me. It's very exciting to be able to cut these acrylic pieces myself right here. And I do have another video on my setup for that and some of the issues that I ran into and the solutions that I came up with. So if lasers are your thing, then maybe go back and check that one out. And of course, if you want to follow more of the Parrot Kit progress, you'll probably want to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.